If your mic isn't working in CS2, there are a few options we have to try and fix it. In case something doesn't resolve your issue, be sure to check out the timestamps in the description down below. But before we get into this, today's video is sponsored by SkinsMonkey, which is a trading site where you can instantly and safely trade your CS2 skins. They're now offering a 30% deposit bonus, which could be 35% if you use our code LOOTLADDER. But check out the freebies tab if you just want something completely free. Use the link in the description for a free $5 bonus. So here in the CS2 audio settings, you'll see that there actually isn't a place where you can select your mic, and that's because this has to be done externally. But while we're here, I highly recommend that you turn on the streamline push to talk option because having it off will cause stutters if you try and talk in game. For this step, we need to open the Steam overlay by pressing Shift Tab and then navigating towards the settings menu. Upon clicking it, you should be met with a dialog box that looks like this, and you'll want to go into the audio settings. Here next to the audio input, you should see a drop down arrow, and it's important that this is set to your mic. You can also test the audio with the meter and make sure that sound is passing through properly. But if you're still facing issues, then our next step is to go into your PC's audio settings. Press the Windows button and type sound. This should pull up a few different choices, but we want to click on Manage Input Sound Devices. From here, you need to make sure that your mic is selected and that the volume is adjusted accordingly. If you'd like, you could also disable any other sound devices that you may not recognize, as they could possibly interfere if your mic is ever disconnected. If you're still struggling to get your mic working properly. Another thing we could try is updating software and drivers. For drivers, press the start button and type device manager, and at the top you should see audio inputs and outputs. Here you'll want to find your mic, right click it, and press update driver. This basically forces Windows to check for any updates, and if it doesn't find anything, then we can try using the manufacturer's software if it has any. For instance, I have a Shure microphone, so I have to use the Shure software, and here is where I would check for updates. Sometimes there are more settings located here that you can try and mess with further. If you still haven't been able to fix the problem, the last thing you can try is connecting your mic into a different USB port. It could also be worth trying a different microphone, or maybe trying your mic on a separate computer if you're able to. If all else fails and you think your mic is the problem, I highly recommend the Fifine Ampli game. Right now, you can get it for 10% off using the link in the description. They even have a few different colors, so be sure to check it out and get that discount.